Jason? Raymond Buckland, who was <laughs> one of America's first public witches and the man to bring Gardnerian Wicca to the United States in 1963. I'm actually currently writing a biography of Ray, and this shows up in the biography a little bit. In 1971, he goes to L.A. to shoot a syndicated talk show. They existed in the early 70s. And while he was there shooting that show, he, he made an impression on some people in Hollywood, most notably the director of this particular picture, who asked if Ray would be a consultant on the film. Ray says in his memoir that's unreleased, he says that they actually did change some scenes by, you know, because he said that this was not really representative of witchcraft, though he says they did not change enough scenes, which is pretty obvious, and that there were times when they did not listen to him. But he said they were still trying, at least to a small degree, to get some of the things right. And if you look at the film, especially the nudity, we talk about the nudity, but in the early 70s, people would have expected there to be amongst witches. Because uh-huh. the number one flavor of witchcraft or the most publicized flavor was Gardnerian craft. And Gardnerians are said to work naked in the nude, which is what Raymond Buckland would have been doing in the period. So it would make sense for the witches to be naked. And there are some real bits of witch ritual in the film. There's a line here and there. The problem is, of course, is that they say a line that relates to witchcraft and then all of a sudden you get and Satan backing it up, <laughs> which Graves would have been really horrified by because one of his core beliefs was that there is absolutely no Satanism in witchcraft and that there is no devil in witchcraft. And that allegedly there's actually a scene of Ray in the film, though I've watched it a couple of times trying to find him. He's supposed to be one of the witches in one of the coven scenes. But he must be very far in the back because I've never been able to place him. I hadn't found him either. 